Hello, this is Let's Play FB Games with episode 179 of Universe Mode. Today we've got Monday Night Raw. And opening the show we've got Lita vs Summer Rae. Following that we'll have a number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Whoever wins this will go on to face the Giant at the Royal Rumble. It's between Dolph Ziggler and Ryback, obviously. Then the third match is Diesel vs Virgil. Uh, we know we know how that's going to go. Uh, the fourth match is a triple threat between all the challengers. I think I did one of these before, but I'm doing it again. Uh, yeah, just see if we can get momentum heading into Rumble. And then the main event, Hollywood Hulk Hogan and the Giant versus DX, because Shawn Michaels was attacked by Hollywood Hulk Hogan on main event. And I thought that would make a pretty good match. It's gone the way. With some Monday Night Raw. Rawr. Like a lion. Anyway, Lita vs. Summer Rae opening the show. Not the best of matches, but, you know, I need some divas on. Anyway, let's get started with Monday Night Raw, the Divas match kicking off Raw. It's usually the Divas match that kicks off Raw, but I've not had Divas on for the past few weeks because of the Royal Rumble qualifiers. It's gone away. Lita has got to try and win this match, but also needs to look forward to SmackDown this, um, this Friday. She's got to defend her Women's Championship, and there will be a six women battle royal on main event. To determine who will be the number one contender to that women's championship, it could be some array. It could be anyone. Now Lita reverses. Throws Paige, uh, Paige, why was I going to say Paige? Summer Rae into the corner. Why did where I get Paige? I didn't know. My brain is not working. I went to the gym earlier and I'm pretty tired, so that might account for some of it. But, uh, anyway, Summer Rae's had no offence as of yet. Okay, there's the first bit of offence. Wow, Lita getting thrown to the announce table. Summer Rae, very aggressive, wants to prove that she can be the women's champion. Summer Rae throwing Lita back into the ring. 
That's some Maria heading back into the ring herself. Reversal. Not really much to talk about in this match anyway, but um, yes, yeah, SmackDown uh, got uploaded earlier. This is about what time is it? It's twenty to ten, so SmackDown should be on by now. If it's not, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, SmackDown was a pretty good show. Good matches anyway, and. Uh, the Edge and Christian feud has become a lot more personal following what happened after Edge's match. But nonetheless, this is Raw, we've got to focus on the Raw people. Nice, into an inverted DDT there. Lita going up top. Elbow. Nope. So we're having none of it. And now another inverted DDT by Lita. Hard difficulty really is is actually quite easy. Lita trying to go for a dirty pin there. Hurricane Rana. Another cover. Later's persistent with these covers, wants to try and get the win as quickly as she can. So she's in good condition for the women's championship match on Friday. Which means there's gonna be two championship matches. There's gonna be the hardcore one and there's also gonna be uh the women's one. Power slam. Standing moonsault. Good move. It's not a cross body call, it's a standing moonsault, learn your moves. And now top rope, elbow drop, like what Macho Man did. Oh no, that's a leg drop. Never mind. The Lita DDT. That could be it here, actually. No. It's a very, very resilient. And now another. Inverted DDT. Ah. Oh. Moon salt. Cover. What the hell? The ref counted three, but not gone for the bell yet. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was a three. I don't know what happened there, but I think Summer Ray kicked out at the very last second. But you know. Well, you don't know, but you know. Later escaping. Later coming back in. Don't know why the sound just cut out for a second there, but okay. That was on the game, by the way, not on the, not on the recording. Later, and Summer Rae having a good match here to open. Raw, obviously. Oh, well, else it would open since this is a Raw show. Lita using her strength on the outside. Summer Rae counters. Summer Rae thrown back in the ring. Lita, elbow. Followed by a leg drop. Cover. Summer Rae kicks out again.
Oh, Lita, dirty pin. Rob, sir. Cover again. Kick out. And now Summer Rae may take advantage of Lita not finishing her off. And, well, she did finish her off. The ref counted the three, but apparently the bell wasn't rang, so the match is still going on. Twist the fate. Cover. Three and later picks up the victory. It's quite a hard fought match though there. Summer here kicking out of the moonsault somehow, I think. I don't know if it was a kick out really. I guess we'll never know. But Lita wins again. Lita tried that dirty pin a couple of times, but it didn't work. But nonetheless, Lita picks up the win. Go up and roll. Let's get to the next match, which is the number one contenders United States, for the United States Championship match. Whoever wins this comes the number one contender to the United States Championship and will face the Giant at the Royal Rumble. Ryback and Dolph Ziggler. Two men who deserve it. Well, Ryback maybe not as much, but, you know, Ziggler quite a lot. Not many of the fans here in Nashville liking Ryback. I don't know if Tennessee and Nevada really have like a rivalry. I don't think uh, that the game makers actually thought Ryback's pyro through. There's no point in having pyro if you can't actually see it. But nonetheless, let's just get underway. Ryback would probably be a better guy to face the giant because of his power and strength, but Ziggler and his agility may also do a good job. I don't know what's going to happen to the Hollywood show offs. I don't know if they're still a tag team, but. They lost at TLC and they haven't teamed since, so I'm starting to think that they may have just split mutually. Miz just recently lost a hardcore championship. So 
think he's done well since the team, if they have split up, have split up. I don't know, but um, I don't know if um, Hollywood Sharks have really got anything now to do since they've already won the tag team titles and lost them. And most teams split up after they've won the tag team titles and lost them. Like, you know, um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd will probably uh, break up soon. Uh, Co uh, Goldust and Stardust broke up, but then again they went for the tag titles and won them twice. Ziggler wins the test of strength, surprisingly. Maybe Ziggler's a stronger one. Don't know, but right back. Um, well, remember, I don't know if you guys remember because I'm not recording in a while, but a couple of Universe mode weeks ago, which that's like nearly two months ago now, uh, they had a, there was a six-man battle royal on main event for the United States Championship, and Ryback right came so close to winning that, but I believe he was eliminated by the giant last, I can't remember. Oh, no, it was, no, I'm trying to remember. But, um... I think Ryback was eliminated. I, either I, I can't remember what happened to Ryback, but Ryback felt feels he deserves a t uh, one more chance, a one-on-one -on -one chance, and Ryback hasn't really done much in my universe mode. So, Dolph Ziggler taken down by Ryback. I don't really know if Ryback is a face or a heel in my universe mode. I've not really used him enough to uh, put anything forward for that. I'd probably say he's a face. Follow Islam. So, in three more episodes plus the pre show, it'll be the Royal Rumble. And, guys, um, I want you to. Uh, Place your bets. Not now, obviously, but when um, when I do the pre-show, I will actually no, I won't announce who's in the Royal Rumble because that'll just ruin the returns and debuts. There's some good one. There's some good returns and some uh, not so good returns, and then there's a couple of debuts who really don't fit in with the crowd. But I want to. I want to put them in my universe mode. So. Even though there's really not much point because doing, I'm doing, I'm gone finishing the universe mode two two months after. But you know, it's just just for stuff. Guys, I might do a 2K15 universe mode. I've not decided yet. I know it's utter shit because of all the custom crap and things and things and crap. But I really don't fancy doing another year of 2K14. I mean, I might, but I don't know. Hit down by Ryback in the corner now. Crowd chanting, feed me more, Ryback. Meat hook. Ziggler kicks out. I wasn't really a super kick. Okay. Oh, right back. DDT on the apron here. I don't know what Ryback is at the moment, but I guess if he's going to face Giant at the Royal Rumble, it'll have to be a face because Giant's a heel, obviously, because he's in the NWO. But Guys, I know I've not used, I've not, I've, I know I've underused Ryback completely, but I've got quite a good storyline um, for him leading into WrestleMania. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's 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 quite it's going to be quite good. Let's just say that. Just 
Right back control is on the outside now. This could be very ugly. Oh my Jesus. And now what's Ryback saying up for? Need to wait for Ziggler to come back in. Meat Hawk. I pressed LB to lift, but okay. Never mind. I don't want to hit the finisher yet, anyway. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Whoa, this could be trouble. And he does it one more time. Guys, I've done this before, so you know what I'm playing. Right back catches him from the top rope. Shell shock to Ziggler. Straight into the cover. One, two, three. Ryback dominated Ziggler in that match. He'll go on to face the giant at Royal Rumble. Here is your winner, Ryback. Let's be honest, this one wasn't even close. Oh, yeah. That was about as far from an even match as you can get. Ryback's done apparently, he's leaving the WWE, no I'm joking, um, but no, Ryback actually decimated Dolph Ziggler, which means I need to turn the difficulty up, and also, um, next we've got Diesel vs Virgil, huh, well, I think I've used Virgil in a while, and, uh, he's not in the Royal Rumble, Literally no reaction. And why is this the match that the WWE Universe has been waiting for when there's uh, two brilliant matches coming up after this? I don't understand Cesaro either. I'm kind of annoyed. Oh no, Virgil, offense. Wow. Oh god, what am I going to do? Oh no, Diesel, you might get hit. Yeah, I'm just using Virgil as a jobber because I actually, I actually, like, the reason I got him is because it was free DLC. And I actually thought it was quite good, but he's not. 
And plus Diesel needs to look strong. Heading into Rumble. Because we've heard Diesel wants to win the uh, Royal Rumble and become the new WWE Champion. Diesel may be one of the favourites heading into the Rumble. He's one of the most powerful. I mean, yeah, maybe he only got in the match because uh, Jack the Giant refused to fight. But... Oh, shit, there was one more Rumble qualifier that I needed to do. Fuck. Oh, well. That, that, I guess there's going to be 11 surprises. Oh well. Diesel. Virgil is not in a good place, but he's using a poke to the eye. The face is using a poke to the eye against the heel. Okay. Oh my god. Can you stop poking me in the fucking eye? Kind of annoying, Virgil. Getting kind of annoying, Virgil. What the fuck? The referee's legs got in the way, that's my excuse. Why is the referee always in the way of the fucking action? Diesel's getting fucking sick of this ref. Huh? Oh, Virgil, neckbreaker. Diesel takes him down. Just wait. Just waiting now. Oh my god. And now, the inevitable jackknife powerbomb. That's going to do it, ladies and gents. One, two, three. Diesel just dominated that match. Diesel gets extra momentum heading into the Royal Rumble. Fucking hell, they're blowing up the ring. <laughs> Nobody wants Diesel to win, so they're going to explode the ring. Oh, no. That, that, it didn't work. The explosion plan didn't work, so, well. I've got to see Diesel for another... No, no I'm joking. Right, uh, anyway, the triple threat number... Well, not one number one contenders match. Technically it is because all of the number one contenders for the WWE Championship are already in it, but, you know, I think it's just to see who will get momentum heading into, uh, yeah, Royal Rumble.
approaching the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. He's a decorated champion, a dominant superstar, and a pure animal. I just remembered that the, uh, the last right hit, Batista, Bret Hart, and The Rock teamed up in a six man tag team match against The Giant and CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. I just remembered. <laughs> now they're all going against each other. There's no friends in a fatal four way. We learned that at the real life payback because Shield and. Well, the Shield sort of reformed and then didn't reform. What the rock is cooking. And from Miami, Florida, weighing 260 pounds, the rock, one of sports entertainment's biggest icons, is on his way to the ring. The Rock always gets a massive ovation every time he comes out. That's one thing I like about The Rock. The crowd reaction for him is what I like about him because nobody else, <laughs> the crowd don't react to anyone else. They just react to The Rock. Man, right. Uh, anyway, triple threat. Number one, these batch is full of the number one contenders from the uh, the Phil Powell match of the Royal Rumble. So I'm gonna run them. Stop. Okay, rock. And the Rock and Batista working together. There are no friends, but they're uh, really I don't know. I don't know how to finish this sentence. But the people can double team, you know. And the Rock and Batiste are continuing to double team. It is a no disqualification match, but it is also elimination. The Rock tries a top rock move, but it doesn't work. Samoan drop on Batista. Brilliant double team move there by Bret Hart and The Rock. And now The Rock wasting no time. There's no time getting the toys out. Hits the referee. Hits the referee. Hits the referee. Throwing all the weapons in the ring. Throwing all the weapons in the ring. I am the rock. I have a huge cock and I'm throwing all the weapons in the ring. Throwing all the weapons out like I'm in the ring. La 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 la. It's triple threat elimination, so I don't care who eliminates who, I'm going to eliminate whoever. Whoever doesn't get eliminated, I'm going to eliminate. Good job, Rock. I don't know if I have enough weapons, guys. Do you think I have enough weapons? I'm going to have to go see if I can find some more. I think, I think I've actually collected them all and put them all in the ring, though. That's the only problem. <laughs> Alright. Apparently. <laughs> Yay! He jumps face first onto a sledgehammer. That is a good move, Rock. Oh yeah, for it. I just wanted to have on one, one moment. Rock going up top. Oh, 
you really think Rocker, you should probably think that Rocker and uh, Bret Hart are going to try and go for Batista first. And that's what they, that's what they seem to be doing. Not yet, I'm not ready, Brett. Good job, Tista. Wow, Tista. Brett, get him. There we go. Brett, I've got an idea. Get him up. Get him up. Here we go. Oh, okay. Go fight me, bro. Let's go. Ah shit. Ah, double shit. This is on a sig. Hey man. Got a little you can't little blow my friend. Which is not right. Oh shit. You can't hit me. Brett, get him. Brett, stop him. Brett, I hit you. You are a cunt. Oh, around the sledgehammer as well. No, I really hate Brett now. Okay, no, Brett. Brett, Brett. The bro code. <laughs> wow. Why am I suddenly getting double teamed? I haven't done shit. Is it because I get the best crowd reaction? Are you guys jealous? Are you guys jealous that I get the best crowd reaction? That must be it because... You guys will not be jealous for any other reason. Kick him away. Now the rock. Nope, the rock gets taken down. Batista. Batista, could you not, please? That would be very helpful. Yes. Brett. Batista. Oh, shit. Batista with a side slam. Batista into the chair. Bret Hart knocked down. Now Batista getting covered by the rock. One. Nope. Bret Hart and the rock now working together again. These two are good friends, but then, like I said, there's no friends when it comes to step forward. Spine Buster to Bret Hart. Cover. No. I even press. Okay, so when I try and get an LB finisher with Ryback, it doesn't work. But then when Rock does it, I didn't even press LB and it lifts him. Okay. I'm going to go in another chair. I need somewhere to sit down. Oh, oh, there's a chair right here. I didn't even notice. Okay. And Brett, uh, Batista could be out here because I'm not getting involved. And Batista has been eliminated. Bret Hart and The Rock fighting. We, knew, we, both, we both knew they would go for Batista first, but now they're going for each other. Wait, Rock doesn't have roll-ups? Oh, okay. And again, maybe... maybe I, don't, I don't think Rock ever did a roll-up. But, yeah. Oh, my God. I almost messed that up. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I'll just run into the ropes because I'm retarded. Yeah, because that's going to work. You pinned me twice before, but you think putting me in the back ahead and pinning me again is going to work. Hitman, I thought you were smart. Oh well, Rock. Oh, not elevating Hitman to the top rope. And Hitman with a drop. Bret Hart with a drop in the corner. Drop kick in the corner. And now choking Rock out with his leg. Leg. Oh shit. I'm a Canadian. Ah shit. Peel driven. Okay. Okay. Drag in the middle of the ring. 
I didn't even need to use a zillion C. Oh well. Have it anyway. Off the Good. That's starting to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, Brett. Brett, you're starting to get a little bit annoying. And now the DDT. Oof. Just narrowly missing that bell. That could have been very painful for Brett if he'd, if he'd hit that bell. And now the sharpshooter, but Brett sees it. Spinebuster, but Brett also sees that. <laughs> now take down. Uh, attempting the sharpshooter again. He gets it. Rock with the sharpshooter on Brett Hart. Brett Hart trying to make it to the ropes. Will he make it? Will he make it? He makes it. Ah, shit, sleep hold. Come on, go down. It's going down slowly, which means my head might be very hurt. Which it probably is because uh, Batista, you know, just um, Batista bombed me and uh, Bret Hart's pile drive me. Pile drove me. English plus. Now what's Rock setting up? Oh, nothing apparently. No, I was just putting you. In a, no, Brett, I was just putting you in the ropes just so we could have a talk. Oh shit. Rock bottom out of nowhere. Oh my god. I freaking. I hit my finisher in the only place I couldn't get a fucking people's elbow. Fishman suplex. People's nope. I'm a Canadian. Pile nope. Oh, backbreaker. Oh my god, if I reverse this again. Jesus Christ, okay. Try it again. Rock bottom. And now, the most electrifying move in all sports entertainment today. The people's elbow. Mm. I've got to say that so many times, it's such a devastating... They even what the fuck is up with Brett's face. Anyway, one, two, three. The Rock picks up the victory. The Rock, extra momentum, heading in to Royal Rumble. Let's take a look back on some of the incredible highlights. Oh, that was an incredible highlight. Yep, very, very good. This was also an incredible highlight. Batista got eliminated. Fucking yeah, great. Roll up. Yeah, that was the best highlight of them all. It was actually quite a near fall, so. But then, The Rock, the people's elbow. And that will do it for Bret Hart and for this match. And these two respect each other what you like to see. Bret Hart, was, Bret Hart knew that The Rock did what he had to do and that is very respectful. Respectful for Rock for offering the handshake and respect to Bret Hart for taking the handshake. By the way, uh, I've never done, I don't think I've done like a two-on-two -two uh, match with the NWO so I don't know what their entrance looks like. So, Oh wait, what am I on about? I've done CM Punk and Daniel Bryan many times. <laughs> Fuck. My brain is off. I've not done these two in a tag team match then. The swag. <laughs> Jesus Christ, giant. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. 
<laughs> this does not fit. <laughs> this is not fit the giant. This is not fit the giant at all. <laughs> Hogan just walking, and then there's the giant just jiving along. Just like what Scott Hall did. Anyway, these two are the champions, the major and minor champions of Raw. The WWE Champion, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and the United States Champion, The Giant. But here's who we're all waiting for, in, our, in my opinion. Both these men in the Royal Rumble come Sunday. But their tag team partners tonight. This all came about because Hollywood Hulk Hogan attacked Shawn Michaels. I don't know who to play as in this match, because I know I want to play as, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll play as them. Fuck it. D-Generation X versus the NWO main event. When you put it like that, it sounds really good, but then you realise that it's not actually too good. I mean, I'd say it is really good, but you know. So Triple H has been sort of involved in a... In a in sort of a mini feud with Dean Ambrose, because they faced each other at TLC. It was an open challenge by Dean Ambrose, and what what one hell of a match that was with Dean Ambrose at TLC. And then they also faced each other to determine who's going to be in the Royal Rumble, and it was a draw, which meant both men went into the Rumble, and that was also a good match. Now Degeneration X, nope, the Giant reversing it. A giant, um, not pinned or submitted yet, but that could happen tonight if the Generation X get their way. What a match this is going to be. And now Shawn Michaels getting the tag. To no crowd ovation at all. Score cushion finale. And the giant no sells it. Shawn Michaels, up top, gets down before Hogan pushes him down, and Michaels, done well against the Giant here, but the Giant will just stop all his momentum with that one single STO, and that kick didn't even phase Michaels, Michaels has a super kick as his finisher, but he's never felt, well I guess he has felt it because he felt it, at WrestleMania 19 in the match with Chris Jericho, but that's not the point, the point is, he didn't fall from it. And now he tags Triple H back in. Double team manoeuvre on the Giant. So far, this has been a very competitive tag team match. Not really been that competitive, but still. Oh, uh, the Giant fighting back. Hollywood Hogan. Oh, yeah, Hollywood Hogan did start this match. I was going to say Hollywood Hogan yet to come in this match, but he started it. And now the pin on the Giant, this could be the end of the undefeated streak. One. No. Not that early anyway. And if it does happen, it's going to take a lot for the Giant to get pinned. 
I need to switch Shawn Michaels a bit. I just need to itch my face. <laughs> Sorry. And also need to itch my belly. Anyway, Triple H and the Giant continuing their fight in ring. Shawn Michaels coming in, as well as Hulk Hogan. This is what we all wanted to see. Hollywood Hulk Hogan attack Shawn Michaels on main event, and everyone wants to see Michaels get his retribution. And now he's tagging back in Triple H. DX working well here. Knee to the head. And now a suplex. Now what's Shawn Michaels doing? Oh, knee drop. I don't know why Hogan attacked Michaels when he used to be focusing on defending his title at the Royal Rumble, but... He did, and I don't think that was a smart move because DX are punishing him here. Hogan fighting back. And now, do what the NWO do a bit of cheating by Michaels and Co. And now Hogan desperately tagging uh, the Giant in. And now they're working on the Giant as well. DX using a page out of uh, NWO's book. And now... Oh, no, 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 no. Super kick. Enter a pedigree. And that will do it here. The Giants' undefeated streak has come to an end. No, Hogan breaks the pin up. And now Shawn Michaels is mad. Oh wow, Triple H, Triple H dropping down, it's the end of DX, Triple H late, no I'm joking, I'm not going to do that, I don't want DX, DX is actually, I like DX, and now Springboard maneuver to show, sorry, Giant, it's the first time I'm in that mistake in actually a little while. <laughs> And now Shawn Michaels working well on the giant here. And now Michaels wants Hogan. And, and Michaels is going to get Hogan. Hot tag. Hot tags never work on this game. I don't know why. Oh, jump up, kip up, suck it. Hogan tried to fight back, but Michaels has got control. And elbow to the back, second elbow to the back. Suck it. 
This is what we've been waiting for the whole match. Shawn Michaels getting his revenge on Hulk Hogan. And now we know what's coming up here. And Hogan's countered the switching music. The giant throwing Triple H back into the ring. And the giant and Triple H fighting on the outside. John Michaels continuing the punishment to Hogan. Hogan continuing to kick out. Roll up by Michaels. Come on, H. Come on. Good move there by Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Knees to the head. Uh oh. Super kick to Hogan. And Shawn Michaels pins Hogan. And D-Generation X win. Ladies and gentlemen, DX finish the show as winners. This has been Let's Play FB Games with episode 179. I'll see you next time for some NXT.